now. And as these students mourn the tragedy at their school, school leaders in our area are sharing their condolences and thoughts on what can be done to protect all students. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson live in Long Island City with more. Kimberly. Well, Dave, each today, each principal at every public school here in New York City received a letter urging them to review and go over all safety guidelines in place. It was sent out by the Department of Education, Schools Chancellor Carmen Farina, calling the guidelines, quote, detailed protocols and robust procedures. She was here in Long Island City today visiting students at Queens Vocational and Technical High School. She was talking with the kids about future career choices, but given the shootings in Parkland, safety was also a main topic. Farina assured everybody that the plan in place, the current plan, is solid, involves a lot of input from the NYPD. Each year, students, teachers, and staff hold a dozen drills, four focus on lockdown scenarios, eight on evacuations. Now, schools were also given a hard deadline of March 15th. By then, Farina wants to see a safety drill carried out at all schools. She says what happened in Florida is a wake-up call to the nation in terms of what we're going to do. If you see something, do something. We're asking particularly principals and teachers to talk to students about what might be something that they may want to, in confidence, let an adult know about. Because with all the social media and other things out there, there's many ways of information getting out there. And it's something that we really need to supervise. Coming up at five, we take you inside a company based in Hop Hog, Long Island. Its software is in place in more than 400 schools nationwide. Its goal, giving administrators tools to monitor what's happening on social media and, if necessary, to spot red flags. Now, the CEO of that company tells me just last year, because of their software, they were able to identify two students who were struggling and prevent their suicides. We'll have that for you coming up at 5.30. For now, we're live in Long Island City, Queens, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Kim, thank you. Coming up Many of the warning signs about Cruz revolve around his disturbing posts on social media. We talk with a company on Long Island that uses technology to track social media posts to spot these kinds of things, and it's being used in hundreds of schools nationwide. Ahead at 5.30, we'll explain more on how it works. World News with David Muir will have complete coverage of this massacre live from Florida right after Eyewitness News at 6. And you can find more information on the victims as well as a profile of the suspect at ABC 7 NY. We continue our coverage of the school massacre in Florida with us taking a closer look now at social media's impact during and after this horrible event. So many teens these days live out their lives on social media and we found many of the victims and survivors of yesterday's massacre posted from inside that high school during the ordeal. So what are schools in our area doing to prevent future attacks and can these digital fingerprints be used? Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson is live for us on Lo in Long Island City with more. Kimberly? Well, today, each principal at every public school here in New York City was told it must review its safety guidelines in place. Carmen Farina, the school's chancellor, was here in Long Island City visiting schools, at, visiting this school, Queens Vocational and Technical High School. She reassured everybody that the procedures now in place are detailed and robust. This is really a wake-up call to the nation in terms of what are we going to do. Topping Carmen Farina's list, giving each and every public school here in New York City a hard deadline of March 15th. By then, the school's chancellor wants to see students, teachers, and staff take part in a safety drill. Each year, four lockdown and eight evacuation drills are carried out. But on the heels of the massacre in Parkland, Florida, you can never be too ready. With all the social media and other things out there, there's many ways of information getting out there. In the last 24 hours, Derek Peterson and his team here at Soder Technologies has received multiple calls from all over the country. Right now they realize that they need to do something about it. They are school administrators trying to keep students and staff safe. And that's exactly the goal of his company based here in Hop Hog, Long Island. Derek walked me through one program that focuses on social media using key search words like gun. School officials can then see where and who is using that language. We draw a, a geofence of the school district and allow them to see 
what's through a filtered keywords and looking at public posts. And to avoid false positives, a new way to analyze certain words in context to see if it warrants action. The two schools going to have a football game. Am I going to kill the quarterback or am I just going to tackle the quarterback? So if a kid types, I'm going to kill the quarterback, typically they mean, I want to tackle the quarterback, I want to win the football game. Their products are in place in more than 400 schools in the U.S. and are making a difference. Last year, we were able, through our software, we were able to detect that two kids were in distress and prevented two suicides. So to that, to us, it's a home run. And another product which is used inside in places like bathrooms and classrooms, it actually monitors sound. It measures decibels. And if there's an unusual spike from, say, like a fight, then a school administrator would be notified. For now, we're live in Long Island City, Queens, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kimberly. And we